what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? 25 House Democrats, including a member of the House Judiciary Committee, is getting behind a bill that could declare Donald Trump incapacitated and lead to his removal from office under the 25th Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. Thursday, barely four hours after Adolf Twitler sent a tweet attacking MSNBC host Mika Brzezinski, Representative Jamie Raskin sent an email to his colleagues urging them to get behind the measure. He said that it was of enduring importance to the security of the nation. Okay, here's the deal. Even if Congress were to create the body called for in Raskin's bill, it couldn't declare Donald Trump incapacitated without the concurrence of the vice president. That means Mike Pence could effectively block any measure to invoke the 25th Amendment. He holds the veto. No deal. No way. He's not going to allow that to happen. He gonna ride for Trump. He's made a deal with the devil and I do believe he's gonna stick to his guns. But this is politics. And you know how it go. They say you can't trust these politicians, so you never know how it's really going to go down. This is going to pretty, pretty much boil down to how ambitious Mike Pence is. How badly do he want to be president? Is he okay with just being the vice president? Is he cool with that role? Is he cool being the Dick Cheney you know, in the bunch. Because Dick Cheney was real cool with his role. He knew his role. He stayed low key the whole time. Mike Pence, his name has been ringing a whole lot more. So I'm wondering, would he sell Donald Trump out? You know, there's no honor among thieves. And the White House got a house full of thieves. It's, they thieves running wild in that White House. So who knows? If he's a fan of Donald Trump, he looks up to Donald Trump, then he's probably taken on some of his ways. And everybody knows that Donald Trump is a self-aggrandizing sucker. He's a thief. Everybody knows this. He's totally corrupt. So we'll see. And think about this, y'all. This dude is the President of the United States sending out tweets personally attacking a reporter or a, what is she? I guess a, I guess she's a news host or something like that on the morning joke. But just attacking people, period, as the President of the United States making personal attacks, always talking about people. That should really be beneath the office of the presidency. It should be beneath. I mean, can y'all imagine Barack Obama making a personal attack on, on a female while he's a sitting president? I couldn't even imagine him doing that now that he's no longer the president. Donald Trump is really a little, he acts like a little kid. He acts like he didn't get the memo that he actually is the president of the United States. Your president, by the way. He act like he hasn't gotten the memo. He acts like he lost and he's he acts like a bitter loser. Like he's still riding Barack Obama. He's still figuring out ways to try to personally attack Barack Obama. He's constantly, he can't get off Barack Obama for nothing. He's fixated on Barack Obama. I think he got a thing going on, man. This dude got a thing for Barack. Either he want to be with him or he want to be with him. You know what I'm saying? He either want to either want to be him, be him, or he want to be with him. 
because he because he do it way too much, way too much. I don't think this oversight commission thing is going to work. I don't think it's going to work at the end of the day. Mike Pence holds the veto. And, and, I, and I don't think it's going to work for this reason also. Donald Trump is never going to allow himself to be medically evaluated, you know, mentally evaluated. He's not going to allow that to happen because he knows he's off. Allowing Donald Trump allowing himself to be mentally evaluated will be the equivalent of him defending himself in court. Y'all know that would be a catastrophe. He's way too much of a narcissist to sit on a stand. You know, he's way too much of a narcissist. He would definitely shoot himself in the foot the first chance he gets. And you hear all these people talking about, well, you know, if you get rid of Trump, it's going to be a civil war. It's going to be a civil war because Democrats can't shoot. They can't shoot. That's funny how Republicans think because they're the ones who always jumping up and down and going crazy about gun rights that they're the only ones who have guns and know how to use them. I don't think you want no civil war. See, you, might, you may not mind dying, but you don't want your children to die. You don't want your wife to die. You don't want your mama to die. You ain't ready for that because that's what's going to happen. You ain't ready for that. And I do believe that when you're talking that civil war talk, you got to be ready for what's going to come after that because that would pretty much amount to treason. And that should amount to the death penalty for anybody that try to go up against the government on some violence, talking about a war. Yeah. I, I think y'all, I think a lot of y'all got too comfortable with the Confederacy, with the way the Civil War went last time. A lot of y'all got too comfortable. And then a lot, also, a lot of y'all forget that you lost. You lost the Civil War. But I think you're kind of emboldened by it because you walk around with your pistols waving your pistols a lot and stuff and nothing really happens. And so you're thinking that you're going to be able to get away with it. And, and also another thing is that a lot of your Confederate soldiers and these generals and stuff have been saluted. You know, they even had these monuments built for them all around the country, which is... I was about to say odd, but it's a little bit more than odd because because I'm still waiting on somebody from the Black Panther Party to have a statue. If y'all know of one, let me know. I'm going to go visit it tomorrow. I'm going to put it on my plan. I'm going, I ain't got nothing to do tomorrow. I, I'll take off tomorrow and go visit. If they got one statue of a Black Panther member out there, I need to go check it out. Now, Trump supporters, when they, you see, and, and this goes back to this bullying they do. They, they think everything like, first of all, they want to talk. First of all, they love to throw rocks and hide their hands. Everything that they do, they accru they accuse everybody else of doing. Anything that they do, they, they big hypocrites, they accuse the next person of doing. And then when the next person don't go for it, it, it they can't bend it, the truth the way they want to bend the truth. They want to try to resort to violence. Violence is cool with me, man. I ain't got no problem with violence. So, but I know y'all like to pick on little, the little guy. Y'all like to pick on easy targets. Y'all like to pick on people that ain't going to really fight back. They ain't going to put it in your life. I'm going to put it in your life. So, it's a little bit different when you're looking at somebody like me and you're talking that violent thing. Now, hey, man, I'm a peaceful guy. Very peaceful guy. My first inkling is to, hey man, let's get along. Let's, let's make it work. Let's work it out. Let's see if we can work it out. But if we can't, hey man, I ain't got no problem going there. So all that tough talking that y'all do, man, I ain't scaring nobody. Not, not me. 
at all. Talk of civil war. These are the same people that talk, talk about being patriots. It's funny, man. The hypocrisy is hilarious. Same people that talk about being patriotic and how they love their country. But when the country does something that they disagree with, they're ready to fight and overthrow the government. As long they love the country as long as they can have it their way. Who had that saying, have it your way? Who was that? Was that Burger King? Have it, have it your way? McDonald's? I don't know, man. I don't eat at them. I stopped eating at those restaurants a long time ago. But one of them had a real cool saying, have it your way. Have it your way. That's an old commercial. But anyway, man, I ain't come here to sing. I came here to deliver the information to the people. And I'm telling y'all that I don't think this oversight commission thing is going to work. I, but it's a good idea to just put, muddy the water and allow uh, Trump to make another mistake because he makes mistakes daily trying to cover up other past mistakes and the lies that he tell. So that's going to be very interesting. Now, one last thing before I go. Donald Trump, he loves to talk about people's physical appearance. He must not have a mirror at his house. Look at his fat, plump ass. Double wide. He way out of shape. This dude ain't got no business talking about people's physical attributes. This dude is really, really hard to look at. I mean... He's disgusting. He's ugly. I mean, let's let's say what it is, man. He's an ugly president. That's another reason why I'm surprised he won. He ugly. People know him. I'm gonna tell you, like, voting for a president. <laughs> this is crazy, but voting for a president is often not as complicated as we make it seem. People normally vote for somebody they can look at for the next four to eight years. <laughs> and that dude is very hard on the eyes. He ain't got no business trying to rag on somebody's physical appearance. Because he fat, sloppy, ugly. He got raggedy hair, a raggedy face, his stomach wobbly. He need to get his ass out there on that track like Obama used to do. Let's see him try to do that. He always talking about what he can do better than Obama did. Hey, Trump, let's see you run out, get out there on that track, and let's see if you can walk, even walk a mile without falling over and dying. I doubt it. No more talk. What, what the ladies talking about? Thanks.